Understanding the current state of a patient's geographic atrophy can be a difficult and time-intensive task. That's why researchers at Moorfields Clinical Center and AI Hub have been developing an artificial intelligence that can quantify how much atrophy there is and how it is progressing by looking at OCT scans of the retina. This system is actually four different AI models, each one monitoring a different layer of the retina and then recombining them to determine if there are areas of atrophy. It was quite an elaborate approach that we followed. This is Konstantinos Belaskas, a consultant ophthalmologist at Moorfields who led the team that developed the system. We understand the complexity of the task and the importance of getting it right so that it is reliable and reproducible so that we know that what the system detects is what uh, is generally accepted by the retinal community as atrophy, geographic atrophy. If a clinician is doing the grading, you can find that there is significant intra-observer variability when determining the boundaries and the surface area of the atrophic region. This has not been terribly relevant clinically so far because unfortunately we haven't had very effective treatments against geographic atrophy. Now we, get, we have good reason to be hopeful that um, there will be treatments for geographic atrophy. There are some therapeutics in advanced stages of phase three clinical trials that show good promise. But this causes a potential logistical problem as ophthalmology departments are already stretched, which is where the AI system could come into play. Grading scans takes a lot of time, time that the AI system could save. A human grader to um, annotate, to grade 49 B scans, individual images, so one OCT, um, it took between 43 and 56 minutes. The AI system can do the same task in uh, 2.04 seconds. Going from code to clinic is a significant hurdle that all pieces of software like this have to face. They have to go through regulatory approval as well as many other logistical barriers. That said, the researchers remain hopeful with the level of evidence that they have already got. The path to getting there, I think, is not um, as long as people may, may uh, think, actually. Yeah.